As a person that loves video games, I play a large amount of them, maybe sometimes a bit too much, but don't judge me on that. And yet there's a game that makes me come back from time to time. I'll play it for about half a year and then I'll take a break from it. I'm sure that we all had that break from our favourite video game and then as you come back you wonder, why the hell did I leave in the first place? For me, that game is Warframe and I found it around 2013 I think as young captain was looking for something free to play with good quality content. I turned it on for the first time and I fell in love almost immediately. As a result I tried to get my friends into playing it and let me tell you it wasn't an easy task. I mean I thought that the concept of space, space, space ninja, ninja, ninja warriors is going to be cool enough to convince them to give the game a shot. It took me a long time to get my friends to play it but when they did I had roughly 2 out of 5 friends constantly playing the game with me. With time I got more friends to join me and some burned out and never came back. I respect it as Warframe isn't for everyone and it's hard to get used to. Back then there was very little information about the game and I usually tried to do everything by myself and as a result I was unaware of late game stuff and proper modding of frames and weapons. Only recently I took a step back and looked at the game from a perspective of someone who played the game ever since it came out to the public. With breaks now and again of course. As I was looking at all the changes that have been made throughout the years. I came to a conclusion that I never thought about before. Warframe is a perfect free to play game. Now hold your horses there compadre and let me explain why I think that. This video is much more structured than the other ones on my channel. So there are going to be sections and in each I will explain why I hold Warframe in such a high position when it comes to free to play titles. <laughs> So let's start with the obvious, the gameplay in Warframe is something incredibly special to me. While most free to play games are struggling when it comes to rewarding gameplay, in Warframe it's taken to another level. The longer you play the more powerful you become, which should be expected in a game. However the way you progress it's a bit different than in usual MMO or RPG or shooters or whatever you want to classify it as. You get new mods, new warframes, new weapons, and each weapon feels unique to shoot. There's always something that you'll find about a weapon that's slightly different to the other ones. And that ranges from laser guns that cut through the enemies like butter, swords that would be almost impossible to swing in real life, shotguns that send waves of vaporizing energy at your en enemies. It would take me way too long to go through all the weapons, but trust me, there's a lot to choose from. Similarly, the choice of playable classes, or frames, if you prefer, is large and they all have their unique purpose in-game. You have your supports, damage dealers, crowd controllers, and many combinations of those three to be honest. Depending on your playstyle, you'll find something for yourself. The game is a loot to shooter, so you better expect to gain a shit ton of materials, which you'll later use to create new stuff. You wanna build that weapon? You better prepare for grind, because it's all about that grind, boy. Warframe makes you work for everything. Weapons or frames? Better get materials for them, otherwise you will only dream about them. Prime weapons? Better farm some relics and then prime parts, otherwise forget about it. Talking about parts, let's smoothly move to the... When creating an MMO style game such as Warframe, economy between the players is incredibly important and DE is pulling it off perfectly. The trading is as important as any other aspects of the game because you can trade with people for the currency that is obtained by cashing out some of that sweet sweet cash. You can trade for almost everything in this game, starting from mods to even better mods. Huh. Ironic. Never mind, the point is. Trading scene in this game is leaving and breathing with full force and that allows people that never spend a single penny on a game to obtain the stuff that can be bought only through premium currency. Things such as slots for warframes and weapons, certain cosmetic items, as well as frames and weapons already finished and ready for you to bring them to any mission you desire. 
I could go more in depth when it comes to the economy of Warframe, but I think I'll save it for the next video. Another important part of Warframe is how you can identify yourself on the battlefield. I mean, who wants to be a basic bitch Excalibur when you can be All Might? Because I am here! No, not All Might, but Almighty Excalibur. Customization is a huge part of Warframe as a result of different color palettes, as well as a large selection of armor that adds that extra spice to your Warframe. With all that said, I'm barely scratching the surface of the amount of customization you can achieve in this game from your Warframe all the way to your ship. All of that makes each and every single Warframe player unique from the others. I don't think I've ever seen a similar looking Warframe to the one that I'm currently using, and that is saying something. You can be a knight in the shining armor, a weeb, an edgelord because no one understands you, and overall life is pain, and existence is suffering. The point is that there is an incredibly large amount of customizable content for you to explore, and adjust it to all your twisted needs. Back when I started playing Warframe, it was a very small game, not many people knew about it, and it was directed at a niche audience. After around 5 years the game has changed incredibly and it's due to love of the developers and listening to the community. Something so basic as listening to the community can improve the quality of the game so much. And that just makes me wonder, why so many of the big companies are not doing it? Yeah, you see, I see you over there. I, f I fucking see you bastards. Now that I think about it, they have improved the core mechanics in such a way that the game is becoming much more enjoyable. They have changed the melee system, the parkour system, even the void system which is sort of endgame and mostly important if you want to farm the prime frames. Not to mention they are adding new bosses, mechanics, hell even a complex story that some of a AAA industry could you know take some inspiration from. I'm not gonna mention the game but it's gonna flash on the screen for a split second there you go. It is ridiculous that a company that released a free to play game managed to pour so much blood, sweat and tears into a game that was doomed to failure by most publishers. And yet, look at them now. They are expanding the game even more than ever. It is huge. And now after 6 years, they continue to release new content that keeps the fans entertained. The most notable example would be the Plains of Eidolon and Fortuna that introduced huge open maps for the first time in the history of the game. After the release of Plains of Eidolon there was a message for all players to see and the message said that the expansion was possible because of them. Even after the release of Planes of Eidolon, they continued to improve and add to their already amazing game. And because of that we received Fortuna. The map size was roughly four times the size of Planes of Eidolon. All of that was possible because of us, the fans. It was because we simply showed the game the love that it deserved. Because we, as a community, appreciate games that are different. Despite of all the publishers saying, oh the game will fail, we showed them that we have the power to support what we love. But the truth is, it wasn't all because of the players. Huge thanks should go to DE because those glorious bastards, they just keep doing what they're doing. And they're doing it well. So, as an end to this video, let me just say thank you DE. Thank you for creating one of, if not the best free-to-play game on the market. Hats off DE. Hats off. <laughs>